He fought his way back from a broken neck and broken vertebrae. This guy was held together by pins and wire. But Rob Smets didn't become a legendary bullfighter by being a gifted natural athlete, but by being the toughest cowboy in professional rodeo. A life and times of Rob Smith. Boy, you don't even want to go there. It's worse than Judge Roy Bean. I've been fighting bulls 30 years. The early years were a blur, probably. I mean, in more ways than one. I fought bulls and was successful at it. I think a, a lot of what has driven Rob Smets has been a blessing and a curse at the same time. I, I was insecure in myself, probably from not being, have chosen the right path of which I've been, you know, I grew up going to Catholic boys schools. I knew what God was and as soon as I graduated, I hit that wide open road just as fast and furious and as a person could. As hard as Rob worked inside the arena, he played even harder outside, going from one bar to another. Got on the road. Like I said, you know, at pre-21, so anytime you could sneak in a bar, I snuck in a bar all I could. Uh, the alcohol, I smoked a lot of marijuana then, I, you know. I, I've, like I said, I've tried a lot of things I should have never ever gone to. In 1992, Rob's career almost came to an end when a bull stumbled and fell on top of him, breaking three of his vertebrae. After the doctors put him back together, they told him to find a new line of work. Everybody told me when I broke my neck and they fused me that I'd never fight bulls again. Well, you know, I, I truly believe that if God meant for me not to have fought bulls after the broken neck, he'd have made it where I couldn't and was able to come back in 93. You know, 94, I dedicated that year to Carla and, and went back to win the world. And, you know, it was like, okay, I proved all of y'all wrong. You know, I, 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 once again, though. I got to the hotel room that night in Las Vegas at the Gold Coast and probably spent most of the night crying on the end of my bed because here I'd won my fifth world title and still wasn't happy, wasn't, wasn't like there was any peace, you know? I mean, I'd proved it. Oh, sure, I'd proved everybody that they were wrong but there still really wasn't the satisfaction of what I thought there was supposed to be. In 1996, Rob was in the lead to become a world champion bullfighter once again. We went to the going into the last go round in Memphis, Tennessee. I was number for one for the world again and slipped and a bull hit me in the butt. I hit that barrel with the top of my head. I broke C1 in three places. Why I'm not sucking out of the straw and sitting in a wheelchair trying to control it like that. That's truly a God thing. I, I can't ever on either one of those two times of my broken neck say that it, it was Rob. And I'm, I'm a good athlete. At least there's one time I won't say I, I, I. A few months later, he got a phone call from a friend that would change his life. He uh, told me that he'd seen the documentary. He said, well, in the documentary, you said God has a plan for you. And I said, yes, sir. And he goes, and you said you didn't know what it is, huh? Yes, sir, I mean, man had me with my own words. And he said, the plan is, you will be in Twin Falls, Idaho. I, uh, I was up there the very first day of the camp, the first morning. I didn't even make it to the night. I didn't even make it to the night first. There was probably a hundred and some kids there. Rope was up there talking about God. And you could see the happiness in the world. It, 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 you know, he was walking back and forth and he was talking about it and the tears were coming down his face. And, and to me, I still say to this day, it looked like he was probably walking this high above the stage. And when he, when he made the altar call about if we if we needed God in our life, I was the first person to the stage that day on my knees. And then 
Everybody put hands on me and they prayed for me. It felt like somebody had lifted this building off my shoulders. Since that day, Rob Smets has found a new direction and purpose in life, both as a bullfighter and as a man of God. There's not a lot I'm afraid of. That's, that's what I do. I, I like to do My biggest fear is, is going back. Going back and, and like I said, I wouldn't say that I've never been back. I've made some mistakes. But I, I've never fell back far enough that I, I couldn't get back to where I need to be. And, and that's always been my biggest fear. The one thing I did learn was if, if you need to, uh, if, you, if you need help, the biggest misconception I had was don't wait until you think you've fixed everything to come to God. Get to God and He'll help get you.